Hello and <clears throat> welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins on the Xbox Series S. Now, I would like to thank Square Enix for um, sponsoring um, for sponsoring the the last game I played, Babylon's Fall. That was a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome experience. But this game here, I paid for with my own money. So yeah, this is uh, this one's on me. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, touch cubes. <clears throat> so basically, this is a pretty heavy story type game. So I am gonna not. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid like cutscenes and everything while we're taking a look at this. So I am playing in the uh, in the performance mode, and this is on Xbox Series S. This here is on performance mode, and it actually so far is feeling pretty good. And you can play this game with up to th two friends, I believe. I think it's three player co op, so so that's pretty good. Now i've I've been I've been I've been kind of on and off with this game for the most part, and thinking like, oh boy, like is it gonna look good? Because you know all of the uh, all of the, um, I think you can actually still download a, I think you can still download a, a demo of this and try it out for yourself because there's, uh, <coughs> sorry, there's obviously some stuff in here, you know, that you're going to want to see for yourself um, to kind of make that decision if, if this is something that you want to do or not. Um, being able to cover this on the Series S is uh, something that I really was was definitely looking forward to, wanting to see how how this runs. And as I can tell you right now, like this here is clearly running at a, is clearly running, you know, at a at a pretty stable 60 frames a second. It feels pretty good. Not getting any screen tearing. Um, not getting any. Um, not getting any of the uh, normal any normal problems but this does look a little bit lower resolution than than 1080p to be completely honest with you this does look a little bit lower than 1080p but at the same time it I am playing this on my 1440p monitor and this does look uh, it it does look it does look pretty sharp pretty clean for the most part uh, stuff like i don't really really not trying to pay i mean i am trying to kind of pay attention but i'm, I'm really not because i'm gonna go through and do a whole nother i'm gonna go go through and do more of a solid playthrough this is basically just coming through to check out performance and you know performance and in, in, in gameplay a little bit i mean you got a dodge button so this is made by Square Enix as well as Team Ninja. I feel like Team Ninja is probably responsible for the combat. Um, they uh, are really well known for uh, games like Neo 1 and 2, Ninja Gaiden, um, and some other some other you know some other titles that um, are, are, are pretty action oriented so I, I've played a lot of their games they're usually pretty tough this game here does have like a robust uh, um, uh, selection for difficulty so I don't feel like you're gonna struggle as much on this as you would with something like um, the neo series or any of the other Ooh, a dash button Oh, duh. I was already using dash. Huh. I can run like the wind blows. Okay, so I know there's something over here because I was walking over here. So, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy box. Yep, got to collect all of that kind of stuff. So, now we got some Twilight Bracers. That's pretty cool. Be able to use them. Um, 
so clearly, you know, if you look at my outfit and my teammates' outfits, clearly there's a progression to, to being able to unlock outfits and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, clearly, you can, you'll be able to get new weapons, stuff like that. I mean, the biggest thing that I was really having a problem with this was the was the visual thing. Because when I first tried this game, I was like, this is a next-gen game, and it's it, it literally looked like it was 1080p, even in the 4K mode. I was like, wow, that, that doesn't look good. So, um, from what I played on the Series X, you know, during the, during the, um, the uh, beta or whatever, this here definitely does not look like it has got the, uh, oh, wait, I got a different weapon now. Oh, I must have changed it. How did I change it? Oh, with Y. Y is going to let you change to daggers. That's pretty cool. So you got two weapons. All right, let's 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 take a look at these visuals for a minute. Now, I think I have to get completely out of the game to the main menu to switch it to resolution mode which is more than likely going to be running at a 30 frames a second i'm gonna go ahead and see if this block will work on these guys oh yeah it does but i still lose a little bit of freaking and then if you hit these guys so, to tell you the truth, like, combat-wise, I am kind of, I am liking this. Like, this feels pretty good. You got the bumper buttons that are your strong and, your, you know, your, your regular attack and your strong attack. Um, oh, my gosh, I got that. I know how to... I know how to button mash game. Quit telling me what to do. Okay, so essentially this this kind of feels like a uh, man. It 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 kind of feels like one of those games that you okay. So you can open that door. Let's see what was back here. There was a room back here, or at least an outside thing. Okay, so we can go up that way. Clearly, that's the way to go. So let's see what's in that door. Let's see what's in that door. Yeah, performance-wise, this feels pretty dang good, actually. Um, visual-wise, man, this is this is pretty standard stuff. It does look a little bit it does look a little bit soft or whatever, for sure. Um, so you're in like a wheat field when, when you're doing like a training thing for this game. And uh, on the series, like, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of that kind of cut out. But this here is more than freaking playable on Series S. I mean, just this this 60 FPS feels pretty freaking smooth. Whoa, get that guy. Get him. Do not let him run away from us again. Oh, man, that guy's fast. See that little dude? He was just like, goodbye. I'm like, oh, boy. No escape, huh? No escape. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Okay, so I guess I'd get your first cactus. So we go this way. We came in here. There's fire down this hall. Clearly, we're not going to be able to get past that. We're going to need, oh, no, these guys come back. All right, well, we're not fighting you guys. We're going to come out here. So, kind of Dark Soulsy with the save, the things respawn. So, you'll definitely be able to grind some of that stuff out. Oh, boy, maybe I should have probably uh, uh, used some healing stuff. Wait, what did that say? All right, so let's look at some of this artwork. See what our textures look like. 
So, all right, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go to title screen real quick. Because I think we're saved right there. So we're gonna go ahead and look. We're gonna go ahead and uh, switch over back to uh, to the to the visual mode. So you, that is nice. You do get the uh, the choice on here. That is pretty freaking cool. Optimization. We're gonna go to favor resolution this time, and we are going to continue our story. Fools miss it three. All right. Okay. What does that say? After following a battle, you'll be sent back to the cube. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yep. You can already tell that that drops down to a 30 frames a second, but it is way more sharp. Way more sharp than it was. Definitely more sharp now. A uh, little bit better textures. Yeah. That looks good. It is more than just, it, it does look like it's definitely more than just a, you know what, man, this kind of, this kind of looks a little bit display settings. Let's change this HDR. Saturation a little bit. Turn brightness up to 55. Let's see how that looks. I mean... To be completely honest with you, like some of this stuff looks like it was pulled right out of, like some of these textures really do look like they were uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One type textures for real. So, I mean, there's really no way around that. Let's get past these guys if we can without getting hurt. Let's go out here. So, I mean, particle effects and everything look pretty cool. We'll put a potion there. So, I mean, all right, let's see. Let's see, like, some draw distance. Let's see how this looks. Ah, man. Not the best freaking square representation of a game I've seen, man. Yeah, I mean... I don't understand what's going on. I mean, even Final Fantasy XV on the... Uh, on the Xbox One... <laughs> had better... Uh, Better textures than this, to be completely honest with you. Like, look at that, man. I mean, even Dark Souls 3, like this, this draw disc, I mean, the visuals on this are a little bit, a little bit disappointing, to be completely honest with you. They're not exactly, uh, wait, did we literally just come right back in here didn't we just run it oh I see what did we do okay so we came up here we just came across that okay so that takes oh my gosh all right what am I missing <laughs> yeah all right um I guess our only hope for this game is to... <clears throat> let's see if we can run through the fire. Yep, I guess we can. 
I don't know, man. Like this is a this is a this is a tough sell on um, on the Series S. To be completely honest with you, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that it pays off. To be completely honest with you, um, because I bought this game because I wanted to play this game. This is one that I wanted to play. So this is essentially the very first. Um, Final Fantasy game just reimagined for uh, next gen consoles or whatever, or just just reimagined, you know, like a remake. And that was <clears throat> pretty intriguing to me because I do like Final Fantasy games. I haven't played every single one of them, but I mean, so far this drone, this uh, dungeon crawling thing is pretty cool. Kind of hoping this game kind of opens up into something a little bigger. So there's a lot of those wolves. <coughs> I mean, the 30 FPS on here is a little bit, a little bit wonky. Actually, it feels stable. the The 30 FPS does feel stable. Let's see. Doesn't feel like it's got like frame pacing issues or anything like that. It does feel pretty stable. So, wait, I can't. You're trying to tell me I can't jump those? That's weird. I don't know. Feels a little. Oh man, can't get off that way. But I can run over here, apparently. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm liking the combat. The combat feels good. <clears throat> Definitely feels better than uh, Babylon's Fall, for sure. And it feels more, uh, it feels responsive. You know, I do kind of wish that this game had more of a, more of a visual representation, at least on the Series S version. Um, I, I felt like it was looking okay on Series X. Um, you can tell they're definitely using pretty heavy checkerboard in this game. I mean, just look at that texture of this wall right here. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Like, I know that... I just I don't know, man. Like I I don't know. This one is this one's really hard to uh to really tell you. Like I mean, like maybe you'll be okay with this, but these like textures and stuff are just not like it doesn't hold up that great. It looks it looks kind of bad. Not not bad, but yeah, my gosh. The Series S version is a little bit rough, but at least, at least performance is solid so far. Oh gosh, those are just those, aren't they? Whatever. Like, we'll figure all that out on my actual playthrough. This is more of a, a visual. Alright, let's look at character models for a minute. I mean, at least character models are good. They're pretty solid. I mean, even though, uh, well, okay, let, let's <clears throat> let's look at this in a different light. Um, you can like I don't know, man. Like, look at that right there. Doesn't that look like PlayStation Two? 
those those little things that are centered like they like they haven't completely loaded in like like that looks like PlayStation 2 architecture I mean like something that you would see maybe on a PlayStation 3 maybe maybe I I I don't know man like I'm not I'm not trying to kick it because I'm pretty sure this game is going to be a solid experience and it feels pretty solid, like, gameplay-wise and everything. All right, here's another save spot. Okay, now that we're in another save spot, let's go back to title screen. All right, so... We are going to go to the... Camera settings, let's see. Horizontal movement, horizontal speed, camera orientation. I was just hoping that maybe it had like a optimization. Favorite performance. Let's go back to continue. I want to see what I'm losing. What kind of a visual, what kind of visuals are we losing? to go to to performance yeah, it still looks like it's from PlayStation 2 but a little buttery smooth 60 frames a second this feels really smooth there's Goblin wants a piece of the action there's Goblin my sword is number 2 now Okay, yeah, I, I, it is so hard to tell what you are losing. Maybe it just drops to like a dynamic resolution or something because it does not look any lower resolution than what I was just getting. <clears throat> like it literally looks the same. <laughs> like it doesn't feel like I dropped resolution whatsoever. It just, it feels smoother. That's all. Yeah, I mean, it literally just feels smoother. It doesn't feel like I lost any resolution at all. Let me see the character model. Yeah, see? Like, I don't feel like I'm losing any resolution whatsoever by going over to the <clears throat> to the performance mode. Yeah, it just, it just feels... just feels good. This feels good now. Okay, yeah, that's that's my honest first impressions of this. Obviously, it's uh, it looks about as good as yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm <clears throat> I don't feel like you're losing any resolution whatsoever by really dropping down. Like it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't look like that. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's native versus checkerboard or something because I don't necessarily feel like you've lost any resolution. I mean, clearly aren't getting any better textures. Actually, this kind of just looks a little bit smoother on the 6 like this I don't know. I don't know. I know it definitely looks better on a Series X, but for Series S, oh boy. I mean, I don't know. I'm not 100% disappointed with it, but I mean, this 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 artwork does kind of look like it's right out of a like out of the PlayStation 3 era. I don't know. It's just something about like the the coloring and the I don't know I don't know yeah 
I don't th I don't think it looks terrible or anything like don't get me wrong don't misconstrue what I am saying it looks I mean the combat's kind of fun Oh, you got to get right on him. Get over here. Come here, firebomb. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, I don't know. I like the combat and stuff. The combat feels pretty fun. You know, you got the different weapons that have the different moves. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. It looks like you're obviously collecting loot like you would be on... Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Let's put on the bandana. Filter. Oh, I guess we can't put it on. Okay, so this looks like it's got the... Okay, alright, this is going to be pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like you'll be able to uh, put different types of uh, equipment on, man. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I lost any resolution. So basically, is what I feel is this: this is probably now a dynamic resolution. So it's possible that it could um, drop to a lower resolution or something. So, <clears throat> all right. I would recommend my 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 recommendation if you're on series s definitely download the uh, demo check that out see if this is something that you want to to play that's 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 my uh that's my honest opinion about it download the demo check out the demo see if you can deal with you know the resolution or whatever uh the visual art style stuff like that i mean i don't know this this is like a this is like a 50-50 for me. I don't think it looks terrible, to be completely honest with you, but I do feel like it I do feel like it's lacking in the visuals department. Oh dang. Start myself on fire again. Wait, haven't we already been into this room? I feel like I'm just running around in circles to tell you the truth. I feel like we just came this way. Like, yeah, see that box is already open. Okay, so this place is a maze, clearly. Alright, this place is a maze. Obviously, that's that way. We just came through there. Don't really care if I freaking start myself on fire. Where did we come from just now, though? Right here? But where freaking at did we come from? From right here, huh? Okay. Let's go back in this way. Okay, so we need to get in there. So we just went around that way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this place is such a freaking maze it's not even funny let's see if i can get one of those little firebomb guys to uh, shoot a fireball towards that door Ooh, dang all right right here shoot at me there we go that's what we got to do i'm gonna shoot that there we go all right so that's what we needed to do. Okay, but what did that get us just in here to get to get that? All right.
kind of does have that little uh, Final Fantasy like feel to it for real. So I mean that's kind of cool. Um, definitely has a pretty cool fighting style. I like that. Oh wait, right here we can go downstairs too. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. I okay, all right, yeah. Uh, level design, a little bit confusing, but not completely bad. All right, now that I'm starting to figure out what's going on, like okay, I get it now. All right, yeah, so here we go. So I went off on that little that little way when I should have just, when I could have, all right, that, that makes sense now. Get back up there. All right, cool. So, all right, yep, as far as I'm concerned, download the demo on the Xbox Series S if that's your system of choice. Um, everything else to me is feeling really, really good. Um, you, you, the biggest problem I sense is you might not, you might not be uh, one hundred percent with the visuals. I seriously, I I highly recommend downloading a demo to make sure that this is something that you want to see. Now I believe you could play this level in the demo where I'm at right now. So. Yep, that's my recommendation. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.